Recently, I was contacted by this man, Kevin, owner and operator of Pro Dirt Parks. He invited me out to California to help him build a flow trail in a client's backyard with jaw-dropping views, loads of rock, and incredible dirt for shaping. I'm sure you can guess what my response was. So the plan was to build a flow trail packed with berms, tabletops, and rollers from the top of the property down through a tree line and end it with a step up out of the tree line. Needless to say, I was pretty excited to get going, so we started by clearing out the trail that Kevin had marked out the day before. can start to see the trail take shape. It starts on this high point where you'll roll in, pump these two rollers, and then have the option to gap or pump the next roller. Sadly, this first day was cut short when the track popped off the mini excavator. We had a good start on the trail, but I only had one more day left until my flight back. So the next day, we really had to kick it into overdrive. While we waited for the mini excavator to get fixed, we were actually able to build up an entire berm. This was awesome because once the mini was out of the way, we could test that first section. For this next section, it was all about building tabletops and rollers so you could maintain your speed. Rollers are a great addition to any trail. They help with maintaining speed and add flow to sections that might otherwise be stale. Just add amount of dirt to any section, then round it off, and you'll have yourself a roller. Now, tabletops are also great for adding flow, and they have the added benefit of air time and no real risk of getting hurt. A tabletop at its core is pretty much the same as building a roller, but the top is chopped off. With all those rollers and tables done, we could finally test it and see what we had. After that, we could move on to the final features, which would be a huge berm dug slightly into the ground that veers to the left into a fun little step up as an ending. This kind of dirt requires that you water down the line and then pack it in. It'll ride much better and faster once the line is properly packed and ridden in. But you must stay on top of this, making sure to water it before each ride. Oh, and by the way, this is Jason, the guy in the tie-dye shirt. He's built features at Red Bull Rampage. With Jason and Kevin finishing up the final touches on the flow line, there was only one thing left to do, ride it in. And with the help of Bennett, Tristan, and Angus, we were able to do just that.
fly out to California and build awesome trails with people like Kevin and Jason was really a dream come true. I have to thank my patrons for supporting the channel because without them, I wouldn't have been able to do this trip, so thank you. And I'd love to go out and do more builds like this, but I'll need your support. Please consider subscribing, maybe picking out a t-shirt, or even becoming a patron. It all goes towards excellent trails like these, and hopefully inspiring others like you to get out and dig. Thanks for watching, and I will see you at the next build.